there! How have you been? I am back home now, we have internet again. Yay! Everyone celebrate! But, today in DML, we are getting a change to the mentoring program. And, uh, you may or may not know, I've had a lot of struggles with the mentoring system in DML. So, um... When I saw that there were going to be changes made, I was kind of, you know, thank God we're finally getting some sort of change, but I don't think the changes that we're getting are actually going to fix the main issue with the mentoring system in general. But I will go through the post anyway for anyone that hasn't seen it. This is both on the in-game newsfeed and it's on the Game Loft forum. So, Andrus posted, Hello! It has been two months since the mentor program arrived in Dragonlandia, and it's wonderful to see how many of you enjoy helping new players learn more about DML. So to become a mentor, you need to be at least level 70 and be 16 years or older. To become an apprentice, you need to be between level 7 and 11 and be 16 years old or older. And changes will be applied on May 29th. So literally the only difference is that to be a mentor, you have to be level 70 plus. And for the most part, I do think that this is a great change. Because to a lot of people, being level 22, you've like barely even started the game pretty much. But even so, even if we can get more pupils, so we're not stuck here pressing the get apprentice button for like 7 hours a day, it doesn't change the fact that the main issue with the mentor system is that the people that you get don't talk to you. They don't speak to you. They don't do the quests that you set them. And even people that have used my code, because the fourth slot is reserved for your recruitment code, even those people don't log in and they don't do the quests that they're set. So, what are you supposed to do? I can't get an apprentice anyway, no matter what language I search under, and then they don't talk to me, so I can't even give them advice, and then they don't do the quest that I set them either. So, at the end of the day, nothing is actually working the way it's intended, and I think that this has been an ongoing issue with the apprentice system and mental system since its implementation, that people just don't talk to each other. Every single apprentice I have ever had, wrong tab, I have always said hello, at least said hi there with smiley face, how are ya, are you doing okay? And 99% of them just do not talk. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that when you select your language, the default one is set to English, even though most of the apprentices that I've gotten don't even speak English. It's called like Mestre Dragao and they're like Spanish. Italian or whatever other language so you can't even speak to them so you know although I'm happy about the changes this isn't gonna fix the apprentice system it needed a proper overhaul completely with the entire way that it works because in its current state even if you change it to 70 plus that is not gonna change the fundamental issues with the apprentice system so I hope that um, they fix that eventually, hopefully sooner rather than later, but there's only so much time that I can waste complaining in a day. So, you know, it is the new Dragon of the Week. You know, the cute little wind-up. I did post this in the community feed yesterday, but, you know, I wasn't home so I couldn't do a breeding guide, but since I've already posted everything, there's, like, pretty much no need to do one. But, you know, we've had little Frag here for a long time. He's always been a really big cutie, but combo for him is Lava plus UV. So those two dragons are super easy to get hold of, and there's just a shared breeding time with the Iron Cast dragon. And that is, like, literally all that you need to know to breed him. So good luck if you're trying to go for him. I've still been trying to breed the Pixie Dot. You can see we've had no luck so far. Haha, <laughs> typical DML. It's like, hey, you can have it on your Android account, but hey, you want it on your main? <laughs> Get out of here. Who are you? Who do you think you are asking for something like that? I don't know, DML. I don't know anymore. But alas, you know, we need to do our clan quest because it is new clan quest week, of course. Every week we have our little dragon races and stuff. So we'll go ahead and get all of these done with and sorted. I need to make up for not being here the last couple of days. Because I only thought I was going to be gone for like 16 hours, but then I was gone for like two and a half days pretty much. So 
I, I didn't plan anything ahead. It's like it threw a massive spanner in my plans for the day. I didn't, I didn't expect to be gone for so long. Like, I even had to leave the parrot in the house alone for like an extra day and I felt really bad. But, oh well, we're here now. We can relax, we can get back to our daily DML routine. And don't forget that apparently tomorrow on Wednesday we are getting the reveal for what the new Dragon of the Month is. We know that the new Dragon of the Month is a brand new dragon that was confirmed a couple of times on the forums now. But we don't know what it is yet. We know that it's new, but that could be a lot of new things. And does that mean a brand new never before seen ever dragon? Or does it mean the Wraith? Does it mean the Medusa? We don't know yet, so we'll have to wait and see. I have faith that maybe it will be a brand new never before seen dragon, but we'll have to wait and see until tomorrow. So, now as soon as we find out, I'll be here to report on the situation, assuming nothing else unexpected ends up cropping up in the meantime. Let's hope not. I, I can't deal with my daily plans getting destroyed again. Because even though I'm not someone that follows a routine too closely, because I, I just really don't care enough, it's still like, I expect the next day or so at least to know where I'm going to be. And then, nah, it's like, hey, you do realise it's a bank holiday, right? And I'm like, wait, what? Because I, I don't follow the normal routine of people, so what, when it's a bank holiday, no one ever tells me. And everyone's like, you do realise that nothing's open on a Monday because it's bank holiday, right? And no one's working. It's like, oh. Well. I, uh, I guess we'll change our whole plans for tomorrow then. At 10pm at night. It was like 10 or 11 when I found out. Oh well. Again, it's just... Random stuff just crops up all the time. I don't know if it happens to you. It happens to me anyway. Like, I, I never feel like I can plan anything. It's just random garbage just comes up one day after the next. And then I'm, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, you're getting a parcel sent to your house that you didn't even ask for. It's like, oh great, so I have to sit in all day to wait for that. Ah, oh, jeez. I said I was done complaining, but by the sounds of it, I'm not. What else can I complain about? Having to walk home, I always have to walk up a huge, like, 15 minute, 20 minute long walk up a massive hill to get to my house. And the last portion of it is like super steep. So even after you've done a long, arduous trek up the hill, you have to go up an even steeper little bit of the hill for like, two minutes, and it is the worst feeling. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can deal with it. Obviously, I, I do live at my home, so I, I've had to do it for like the last two and a half years, something like that. Maybe a year and a half, I don't remember how long I've been here, but that that's an awful thing. Living on hills is not fun. Can't I just live on like a flat plane, please? That would be so much easier. It's just a lot of effort when you're like, you wake up at 6 in the morning, you end up walking by like 7 in the morning, and then you have to walk up a gigantic hill. It's just not fun. No, no bueno for me. But, you know, at least you get some, some very fun exercise, haha. <laughs> I don't know, just, just walking is so boring. At least to me. I don't know if you like walking, you know, all the power to you. I, I wish I enjoyed walking. It's just such a boring way to exercise. Even jogging sucks. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that my bones are really weak. Like, literally weak. It's not like I'm saying, oh yeah, I'm just unfit. I'm, I'm saying my bones literally, like, feel like they are about to crack at every conceivable moment because of some weird condition that I have. I don't know what it is. They they can't diagnose it. But that doesn't help. So, I have a feeling that that's probably another reason I hate walking in general. Just the thought of your your ankles exploding is like the constant feeling. 
Very nice, I have to say. But I hope you've been alright the last couple of days. God, I was hoping for a shard piece. Damn. I hope you've been alright the last couple of days. I mean, I don't think too much has really happened in the world, or at least I'd hope not. Nothing too bad anyway. Nothing's really happened with me. Oh god, they're already at 400,000 points. Well, rip us. I guess we're not getting a lot of rewards this week. Holy! Holy mama. Anyway, we'll put all the food back into here. Yeah, and we do want to keep putting in squarey berries just so that then, you know, even if I do miss a couple of collections, it's not too bad. And can we put anything else in any of these? No, can't put that one in. Oh, we can put these three in. Good, good. Go get me some shard pieces, little dragons. Oh, and we can do this one as well. Ain't that just sublime? We don't have any VIP at the moment, and I only have six days left. So I am going to save the rest of my VIP days until we get, like, a special event or something. But at the moment, Saini is one level away from level 80. Ain't that just pretty? He's going to look so good when he's fully leveled... Fully upgraded, he's going to look like a fantastic little dragon right here. But, you know, we don't have any confirmation of any new events or anything else happening anytime soon. So, I don't know, how long am I going to be waiting to use those VIP tickets? Could be weeks. Could be months. Although I hope that um, the new dragons get revealed on the DML wiki soon as well. So, let's hope that that ha happens at least sometime soon. Come on, Pixie Dot! Screw you, Pixie Dot. Look, I knew that that was probably going to happen, but it's still disappointing each and every time that it occurs, okay? Don't blame me for getting upsetty spaghetti at the fact that I probably tried to breed the Pixie Dot like 50 times now on our main, and it's just not having any of it. Alas, we will continue our daily struggle. Wow, we didn't even kill that Briar Dragon, are you kidding me? Everything's going to pot now. I don't know, we've got like two days left to breed the Pixie Dot, so... What, what the chances that we actually get it? Probably not incredibly high. But, you know, every time you try, there's still a chance. So don't give up. Never lose hope until you are in the last two seconds of breeding time then you can give up then I give you permission to say okay the game hates me that's the moment that you can give up your hope but until that point don't you even dare think about it you know I get so many people saying quacks I've tried to breed the dragon of the month five times already and I still don't have it I'm like Oh, woe is you! Five times? Jeez, you've put in an awful lot of effort, haven't you? Look, I am quite a sarcastic person, don't blame me. It's just when I sit here and breed, or try and breed for the pixie dot like five, six times a day, and it just doesn't appear, it, it, it does get to you. It makes you feel a little bit depressed on the inside. But anyway, we'll collect from the ghostly place, and then I will probably go off for today, at least for now. I'll probably have more videos up soon because I have some Dungeon Hunter stuff and that to do. Oh, we can put you in again! You're too kind, little dragons. So, for now, you know, like I said, I'm not feeling too positive about the changes overall to the mental system because it's still pants, but, you know, at least we're making a little bit of progress. But, um, you know, turning on that does have the Professor Dragon, kudos to you. I'm glad you got a little bit luckier than I did with the apprentices that I've been given, or allowed to be given by the game. But oh well. For now, I appreciate you being here. Love you. Until next time, I'll see you then.